Hello guys, this is my first ever tutorial on how to do sound effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. I will show you four different effects which will help you a lot in your sound editing. Two of them are Lopus and High Pass which you can also do in After Effects. And then I'll show you how to do reverb or echo effect in your videos. Also, I will show you some really cool inbuilt presets in Premiere. So let's get started. First off I'll expand the sound area in the timeline by dragging this line up. This way, we can have more space to work with our audio. I do this every time I work with sounds but you can skip this step. Now, open your web browser to download some sound effects from the internet. Open your YouTube and search for any type of sound you want. Once you've chosen the perfect audio you can copy the link of the audio and download it using any YouTube to MP3 converter online. Once you're done collecting all the audio files you can head back to Premiere and import your sounds by dragging it into the source monitor. Look for the perfect cut in your audio file. Press I on your keyboard to select the in point and O to select the out point. Then drag and drop the audio into your timeline. This sounds nice but it is still too loud. To reduce the volume level I will right click on the clip and select gain audio. In this, I will type minus 10 and click OK. It will reduce the volume level by 10 decibels. And just like that do it for all the transitions and shots. You can use some gun sounds and swoosh sounds. Just don't spam the sound effects everywhere because it will look very bad. Now I will tell you about a very cool and easy effect called high pass. In the effects panel search high pass. Ok that's not high pass. Drag and drop the effect on your song clip and go to effects controls. You will right away notice a big difference in the song. High pass is filtering out all the low pitched sounds of your clip. Now, I want the effect to happen in between these two markers. So I will keyframe the effect in its default frequency in the middle of the markers. Now, I will put a keyframe on the last marker at lowest possible frequency. This will turn off high pass. I will do the same for the first marker as well. And it will sound something like this. Now, for the rest of tutorial I will change the video I am working on. In this video I have used two audio clips. Upper one is for music and the one below is for the dialogues in the clip. Now, have a listen to both of them together. Now, listen to the dialogue only. Too late. We can still take it back. Now, only music. Clearly we can see that the music is suppressing the dialogue. So we will do a volume ramp in the music. Select the clip and go to effects controls. Put a keyframe in volume where the dialogue is ending. Now I will go 2 seconds back and keyframe the volume at minus 18 decibels. Have a listen. That looks fine but a low pass can make it a lot better. Search low pass in the effects panel and drag drop the effect on the music clip. This effect does exactly opposite of high pass. You can find these both effects in after effects as well just in case you don't use premiere. Perfect. Now I will keyframe low pass right below the volume keyframes. On the last keyframe where volume gain goes to 0 decibels I will turn the low pass to its max. This will turn off the low pass and the music will play naturally. I'm no good at goodbyes, we're both acting insane, but you're stopping the chain. This looks nice. Now, let's have another look at our dialogue. Let's talk. Lots and lots, okay? It's not too late. We can still take it back. Zero two. You can hear some distortions in the dialogue because the original dialogue had some background music in it. I tried to remove the background music using Adobe Audition but it left some distortions behind. 
To cover these distortions I will apply some reverb or echo effect on it. For that, you have to enable Audio Track Mixer. Go to your Windows menu and make sure Audio Track Mixer is selected. It will probably show up near your effects controls. Note that Audio Track Mixer will apply the effect on whole track and not only on the clip. The reason I am applying this effect on whole track is because applying this on the clip will end the echo as soon as the clip will end. I am going to apply this effect on Audio Track A2. Look out for which mixer section is for A2 and then click this arrow in the corner. This will open effects panel for audio tracks. Click on any drop down menu and select reverb, choose whichever reverb you like. I am going to choose Studio Reverb, double click on the effect to open effect settings. I usually increase decay to around 9000 and damping to around 90. Close the settings and now listen to the audio. Right, these guys wouldn't let me. So I... Let me turn on the music as well. Lots and lots, okay? It's not too late. We can still take it back. Zero two. Right now, you truly are a monster. I'm no good at goodbyes. We're both acting insane, but you're stopping the change. Now I'm drinking again. Perfect. Now I will show you some audio presets in Premiere that are extremely helpful and super easy to use. Go to your audio workspace. On the left you will see this preset panel. Select your music clip and and select the type of clip you have. For the sake of this tutorial I am choosing dialogue. Select the type of effect you want from the drop down menu and notice the change. Let's try some other presets as well. To remove the effect you can click on clear audio type. You can change dynamics and volume of the clip from the panel as well. So that was it for this tutorial. I haven't done this before so I don't know how it will go. Let me know in the comments if you want to see another tutorial on something else. Have a great day.